to Lumada. He will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. story time with Mr. Lumada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. he brings to life. Your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. Good morning and welcome to Storytime. Thank you for joining in. Glad you're here with me today. Happy, happy Thursday wherever you are. Welcome to Storytime. Thank you for being here. And of course, let us know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you. I am excited for today's book, even though it promises to be very, very boring. Do join me for the boring book. This one written and illustrated by Shinsuke Yoshitake. I am glad you're with us for this one. And of course, we're reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Welcome to Storytime. And thank you for being here. As always, let us know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you and always remember too that you can find story time right here on instagram on facebook and youtube as well as on our instagram and also you can find us at storytime with mr limada.com thank you so much for joining in glad you're here with us and i hope that you enjoy today's story coming back after a very long time indeed bringing this one back and as you know shinsuke yoshitake has brought us many books like i can be anything and many others which are fun fun kid kid books and i hope that you enjoy it too thank you for being here and as always welcome to story time happy happy thursday please remember too that the ride is still happening ride for a reason is happening and it is on 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 and this time we will be riding to sacramento please do join us as we'll be riding to sacramento support the ride share with your friends donate we are almost at our goal and we keep going like we believe going to raise this goal we're going to keep going thank you so much for joining in thank you for sharing thank you for supporting thank you thank you for donating indeed thank you so much for joining in and this will be happening on april 23rd so please please do support this race do support this charity ride and it'll be a lot of fun 110 miles of fun 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 thank you so much for joining in let us know where you are and we'll be getting started very shortly with our book the boring book. This one coming to you from Chronicle Books of San Francisco, and it is written and illustrated by Shinsuke Yoshitake. What to you is the most boring thing that you do or that you can do? So think about that. And we have our friend here today trying to navigate boredom today, and it'll be fun. It promises to be fun. I absolutely love it, and I hope that you can join us. To everybody that is joining us, whether you're joining us for the for the live right now or you join us for the recording later on welcome to story time glad you're here with us please even if it's a recording leave a message let us know you were here so indeed we can say hi to you soraya the sticky spider thank you for joining in we've been seeing your messages and appreciate you joining in story time and indeed supporting story time thank you thank you indeed absolutely love it here we go today the boring book. We're going to get started with this one very, very shortly. Join me on the other side of this message after the break. Yes, a little break, and then we'll be back for more story time. Please stick around and we'll be right back. Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Davis. I'm a children's book author, illustrator, and high school art educator. 
I am the author of 30,000 Stitches, The Inspiring Story of the National 9-11 Flag, illustrated by Sally Warren Comport and published with Worthy Kids Hashtag Book Group. One thing that drew me to writing 30,000 Stitches was the idea that people from all different communities came out to stitch this flag and make it whole again. So I hope that when people read 30,000 Stitches, they remember the power of sharing our stories. When people came out to stitch the flag, they shared their stories, whether about loss or pain or love. We all have stories to tell. And by sharing our stories and listening to one another's stories, we can create a better understanding of each other and create a sense of connection and unity. And this is what creates a more inclusive world. I hope you enjoy your story time with Mr. LaMada. Bye, everybody. No, thank you, Amanda Davis. Indeed, keep telling your stories. Keep telling your story, your unique story, because that's the only way that we'll learn about you and also understand who you are. Yes, indeed. And of course, for all of us to let us reach out and try and learn other people's stories so that we can understand. And indeed, the only way that we can be welcoming in our communities. All right. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing, Amanda. And good morning to you again, joining us today on Storytime. The boring book is here this one coming to you from shinsuke yoshitake and it is of course being read with permission of chronicle books of san francisco coming back to story time after a long long time indeed i hope you're ready good morning to you very quickly sarah and nathan how are you doing today out in gray illinois oh i hope those gray clouds go away soon we know sun is on the way absolutely that is the spirit Oh, love it. Thank you so much for joining in and, of course, sharing your positivity. I love it. Good morning to you. Welcome. And I hope you're ready for the boring book. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun here. Bored, boring, bored. This is boring. Oh. Boring book. Written and illustrated by Shinsuke Yoshitake. And we're reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. <laughs> I am bored. So bored. My toys are boring. There's nothing to watch on TV. Uh, mm, mm. Mom, I am bored. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> oh. oh, can somebody else help? Mm, so boring. Wait, what makes things boring? Why am I bored? What does boring mean anyway? What if I was stuffed into a big donut? That sounds like fun. <laughs> but after being in there for a while, I'll probably be bored. Um, how much longer will I be in here? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> boring. Maybe it's boring to stay in the same place. So, what if I constantly changed how I sit? Let's try it. Yeah, I would try it too. Russell, 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 Russell. Hey, this is kind of fun. Russell, 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 but only kind of <laughs> oh. <laughs> bored already <laughs> that was fun for a little bit maybe it's fun to be unique <gasps> the more different the more fun is that the answer is that right a park like this looks fun look at that but a park like this is boring. 
Maybe it's fun when things are crowded. What do you think? Maybe it's fun when things are crowded. Is that true? <laughs> Maybe it's boring when things have nothing to do with you. The grass is delicious. Oh, I bet. <laughs> do you want some? Mm. Maybe it's boring when things don't go as planned. Ah, I see a hippo. Oh, that's not what I was picturing. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if a pill bug ever thinks I am bored. How about a vending machine? Do you think it ever thinks it's bored? Oh, a rock on the street? Oh, my teddy bear. What about a straw wrapper? Oh, an air conditioner. They ever think they're bored? Or oh, the shoes I never wear because they hurt my feet? Or oh, the carrots I didn't eat because they were undercooked? Do they think they're bored? Or oh, a pencil that needs to be sharpened? Or oh, a random component that fell off something? Do they ever think they're bored? What do you think? <laughs> I wonder what the world's most boring amusement park is like. What do you think it's like? The Ferris wheel is low. Hmm. The roller coaster is slow. Most of the rides are closed for repairs. Does that make it boring? The haunted house isn't scary. The drinks are lukewarm. The characters are tired. And the games, well, they're too easy. Oh, man, that does sound boring, doesn't it? <laughs> Unless <laughs> it's your kind of thing. No way. That would be awful. You think? I would never go to an amusement park like that. <laughs> but wait. How strange. It's actually fun to think about boring things. I mean, they're boring, but they're also fun. Weird. <laughs> Can everything in the world be divided into fun and boring? That is fun. Yay. This is boring. Huh? How about that? <laughs> What do you think? Can everything in the world be divided into fun and boring? <laughs> Sometimes I'm not bored or having fun. I'm actually not thinking about anything at all. Like when I'm changing my clothes or when I'm in the bathroom or when I'm brushing my teeth or when I'm waiting for the light to change. I wouldn't say that doing those things is fun, but it isn't boring either. I wonder if there's a word for that experience. Like when I'm peeling a hard boiled egg, or when I wake up earlier than usual, or when I'm riding the bus. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> not bored, but also not having fun? <laughs> Who came up with the word boring anyway? Bearing, bearing, burring, firing, and then they landed on boring. Why? What was that person bored? Is it fun when 300 people, 300 bored people get together? What do you think? Or is it 300 times more boring? <laughs> That is a fascinating question indeed. Is it fun when 300 people get together? What do you think? Or is it 300 times more boring? <laughs> oh, 
Look at all those bored faces. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> I'll let that sit for a minute. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what the most boring age in a person's life is. What do you think? Grandpa, what was the most boring thing that ever happened to you? Mm -hmm. Grandpa is thinking. Grandpa was having a lot of fun talking about his past boring experiences. Maybe boring things turn into fun things after a while. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if some people look like they're having fun, but they're actually bored. Or if some people look bored, but they are actually having fun. <laughs> when do you think those moments could be? When somebody looks like they're having fun, but they're bored. Or when somebody is actually bored. It looks bored, but they're having fun. What do you think? <laughs> what do adults do when they're bored? Is there a secret to fun that they keep from the kids? <gasps> what? Hey, Dad, is being an adult fun? Huh? Uh, here it is. Really? Well, sure, it can be boring sometimes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but no matter how bored you are, it is up to you to make things fun. There is nothing happening here. Oh, wait, so I drew a maze. <laughs> Can we get to the goal of that maze? To the end of it? <laughs> and because you get bored sometimes, the fun experiences are even more exciting, right? <laughs> I guess so, but... Hmm. <laughs> I've heard that before. It's so boring. <laughs> the end. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Glad you are here for this one. The boring book. And, of course, we were trying to figure out what is it that makes us bored? What are boring things? And do we ever in a state where we're both not bored and maybe not having fun either? Well, I enjoyed this book so much. I had fun trying to figure out this boring book, but it was indeed a lot of fun for me. I hope it was for you too. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you for joining us today on Storytime. And I love this book so much. The boring book. Glad you were here for it. And of course, if you're joining us later for the recordings, I hope that you enjoy it. Sarah and Nathan. And of course, Amanda West. I hope that you enjoyed this wonderful book indeed that we had here today coming back to you from shinsuke yoshitake and of course chronicle books of san francisco a big big thank you indeed to them for allowing us to share this wonderful book here on story time thank you so much for joining in please don't forget we still have one more day in the week one more day of stories in the week join me tomorrow for an exciting story and of course some exciting guests coming to story time and we will be reading this wonderful book my dad my rock and this one is coming to you from victor santos and anna Folati, and they will be joining me live here on story time so please please do join in and enjoy that book with us i hope today is not boring for you i hope you figure out something fun to do i hope you have something fun to do whether it's being outside whether it's lying down and reading a book whatever fun is to you i I hope you get to do that. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Absolutely love it. And it is okay to be bored sometimes. 
even adults get bored sometimes. And uh, of course, as long as we get out of that, and it is what makes those wonderful, wonderful, exciting times even more exciting. I agree with the book 100%. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. And if you're like me, you'll be watching a little bit of match madness. Please do join in and enjoy those games. And of course, I hope that your brackets are going well. This year, we're not doing the story time match madness, but I will definitely be watching. And it is in San Francisco, so it is close by today. Hopefully enjoying those games later on. I hope that you have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. And please also remember to just check in on your loved ones. Check in, say hello to somebody, make sure that they are okay. And of course, hopefully you are okay too. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being bored with me today. It was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Have a lovely day, everybody. Please remember to, to, to uh, support our ride. The ride is coming up. It is in April. And this one will be from Oakland to Sacramento. And it is coming up April 23rd. Getting ready for that one. And of course, we're almost at our goal raising funds. So I am glad we're here raising awareness for public education and the funding of public education. And we would like more to be done. But in the process, we're helping raise money for that. And hopefully that kids, you know, this money helps kids have field trips in public schools and many other things like art programs and other things that are needed, music and so on. So please, please play a part, share your books, share share your, your the story, share the, this uh, message with your friends and let everybody contribute. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime for today. I will see you again tomorrow for more story time. Much love from me and this has been story time for today. I'll definitely see you tomorrow with an exciting story when we bring you back. My dad, my rock. Please, thank you for joining in. Have yourselves a wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow for more story time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Time with Mr. Limada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't live lonely, won't you start? All the reading we just can't wait to be in. Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you stop? All the reading we just can't wait to be here.